First of all, how are you, Mabel? Are you in the UK? In the United States. I am. I'm in London at the moment. But yeah, I'm good. I'm good. How is it with everything opening up in London again? Is it like scary or is it like, yay, finally? It's ex it's kind of like both. It's exciting and scary. Like, you know, I want everybody to stay safe. Um, and I hope people don't get too excited. <laughs> Uh, so let them know, your first single in 2021, co-written by the wonderful Ray and MNK, um, you said that it's like a new era for you. Why is it a new era for you? I mean, we can see you've changed. Um, so why is it a new era? Um, it is because I think I found so much confidence in who I am as a person and as an artist. I've grown so much and I think that's something that happens naturally anyway throughout the course of the career and throughout the course of like, you know, your 20s. Um, but I feel like I really know who I am now. I think it feels like a new era for me because I'm just like, okay, I'm here. I'm stronger than ever. Um, so I'm like ready to show people what I'm capable of, I guess. What did it take for you maybe personally to be able to do that step and to say here I am with my full potential and my full me and my full energy and I'm feeling I don't know happier than ever before what was the path behind that step I think time has a lot to do with it like you know with the crazy um you know year and a half that everybody's had I had a lot of time to really just sit and think about you know what I wanted to do next where I wanted to go and, and everything had been so crazy in an amazing way because of don't call me up But, you know, for the first time in years, I had time to just sit and listen to music again and, and focus on my performance, focus on my vocal, focus on my choreography, like really just work hard in such an enjoyable and fun way and really step out of my comfort zone. Yeah, I think that's, I mean, that's the hardest thing to do on one hand side, like staggering out of your comfort zone, but also it's the most important thing in the world just to push yourself sometimes out of your comfort totally. zone. Totally. And it's such a scary thing, I think. Yes. And I think you, you need time to be able to do that. I think when you're like so busy and like, you know, in, in the world in general, I think we move at such a fast pace and there's so many things going on. And with the last, you know, sort of year and a half, everything's slowing down. I was like, okay, I can step out of my comfort zone now because I have the time to be able to make mistakes, I think. It sounds a bit like more mature and a bit more grown up kind of maybe in a way what was maybe it's because you said you've got a, you've got some time to think about all that stuff so maybe there was some space some free space in your head in your mind for you to grow personally even uh, would you say that was the case that you've just grown yeah definitely I mean I'm 25 now I've been releasing music since I was like 18 or 19 um so you know naturally I have grown up I do feel like I've become a woman yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, which is so crazy because in so many ways I still feel like a kid um but yeah there's so many so many parts of me that I feel like have matured and so it was natural for my music to sort of go that way too yeah um, and I think you said that you would like to reintroduce yourself kind of so maybe how would you reintroduce yourself to the world maybe to the music industry maybe to to everyone and to reintroduce your new music how is the new Mabel different than the Mabel before Just more confident. I'd say I'm like louder, I'm prouder. And like, I am not afraid, I'm fearless. I'm like, just proud to be who I am. I'm proud of the music, even though maybe, you know, it, it's really different from what I've done before. I'm like, like screaming it from the rooftops. Like I'm not afraid. And I think I care less about what people think. I, I think as well, I'm like, if I'm happy and I'm making things that are happy, then, you know, That's the most important thing. And, and there will be people out there that resonate with that. Was there one point that you said, okay, this is, I really want to go out there. I really want to present myself to the world. Yeah, definitely. So I put my debut album, High Expectations, out in 2019. And then, you know, I toured that and, and we did a lot of, you know, worldwide sort of promo and had so many incredible experiences. But I think that moment was so, it was just so important for me, I think when you're sort of doing things in fear you're holding yourself back and you're like I'm afraid to give 100% because if I give 100% and I make a mistake along the way then it's going to make me look silly so let me just give 50 and and play it safe sure. and that wasn't fulfilling for me as a person or as an artist. Do you think that has something to do with 
what I love. I love the movement of all this mental health, especially in the music industry. Everyone is speaking up about their mental health issues that everyone has. Do you yeah. think that um, had something to do with, with your personal growth too? Definitely. I think, you know, everybody has their issues, as you said, but I think with social media and stuff in many ways, you know, you think, oh, I, I need to present this like perfect version of myself, which is exhausting. Like nobody's perfect. Everybody has problems. Everybody has issues. Everybody gets anxious about something, one thing or another. And I think just like being honest about that um, has really helped me like be okay with who I am, I think, because now I'm like, it's okay to make mistakes. Like it's okay to do something that's not perfect, but enjoy it and mean it whilst you're doing it. Wonderful. That sounds amazing. Can you take us behind the writing process maybe a bit of, of um, let them know in the production? How was the writing process with all those amazing people around you? It was so fun. So I went to the countryside in the UK, like an hour or so outside of London last year in between um, two lockdowns, you know, we were allowed to go. And so me and Ray and Emin EK, S.G. Lewis and loads of other incredible talented people all came and we made music for a week. And I guess I could kind of feel that confidence that it was there and that something different had happened in me. So I was like, we need to embody that. We need to make a song that's playful, that's fun, that makes people feel strong, that makes people feel empowered. And also I felt like that had a sense of humor to it because I think we can't take ourselves too seriously. And um, I was like referencing Madonna Vogue, which obviously like I would never in any way compare them because that's such an iconic song. But I just wanted to make something that made people feel the way that that song makes me feel. Like I put that on and I'm just like, I'll strut, I'm flicking my hair. I was like, that's what I want to make. Like I want to make that kind of energy in a song and it happens so like easily, so effortlessly. Like we were just in the room, vibing, laughing. I mean, we must have done the song in like an hour. And that's exactly what this record sounds like. It sounds really like just free, just effortless, as you put it. It's just really, really amazing. So is that where a lot of magic happened for your new album too? Yeah, definitely. A lot of um, a lot of music came about that week. And, you know, we were literally just like living, breathing, eating music. It was just like every day, a million songs a day from all these different rooms and like just amazing energy. And I do feel like something clicked then. Um, so, yeah, there's so much incredible music that I can't wait for people to hear. Wonderful. So um, we're talking about that album coming this year, right? Um, I mean, I'm not sure about timings, but I have a body of work that I'm sitting on uh, that I can't wait for people to hear. And I think right now, you know, it's about letting them know. And I think also just like I'm back, but I'm just doing things in my own time. So whenever, whenever the time's right. Okay, perfect. So it's not already uh, mixing mastered. We were talking about 100 songs. You still have to put, uh, I don't know, 20 songs. <laughs> Um, I made a lot of music, but I, I know, you know, which ones that I love the most. Okay, so you already got, uh, picked the songs that are on the album or will be on the album? Yeah, I've picked, I've picked a lot of songs that, that I think definitely like speak to me and that I think will speak to people. How will that body of work will be uh, different from, from your first album? I think you can hear the confidence, you can hear the growth, but for me also it was really important, I think because of the last sort of 18 months that we've all had to make something that was like really positive and uplifting. And even though it has vulnerable moments, I think the story as a whole is, yeah, empowering. And I think I, I wanted to look forward to, you know, the freedom that I know we're all going to have and sort of soundtrack reuniting on the dance floor again. That's wonderful. Wonderful last words. Thank you so much for your music. Thank, Thank you. you for your new energy. I really love that. Keep that and take care. You too. Take care, babe. Love to speak to you.